Hello, hello. Who's up here with me? Oh, okay. This is Shante. Courage, strength, leadership, bravery. Sheep followed the leader. They followed the herd. They don't know where they are going. Many times they are led to the slaughterhouse, but they keep following. They don't lead. They don't use their mind. A lion leads. It's about having the courage to stand and fight for your life. Having the strength to go bravely in your own direction. Even if others walk away, you tread your own path. Only you know what's best for you. Only you know what path to take. Only you know your courage, your strength, your heart. Everyone has the heart of the mind inside of them. Let it out. Let it scream out of you, like the lion. Unleash the beast in you. Attitude is what you think, what you do, and what you feel about yourself. Attitude is everything in life. Guess what? Whether you rise or fall, everything is based upon the attitude that you showed up at that moment. Your attitude determines your altitude. Listen carefully. I've been through tough times. I've experienced it and I want you to know that it wasn't my money that brought me this far. It was my attitude towards life. It was my attitude to keep going when the going gets tough. That is the lion attitude I'm talking about. The question is, what is your attitude towards life? What do you think of yourself as I'm talking to you now? Do you think of yourself as how God thinks of you? Or you think of yourself as how friends and family members think of you? You need the lion attitude. The attitude to take charge of your destiny. You need the lion attitude that says, I can. You need the lion attitude. The attitude that says, I will, because I'm bold enough to fight. You need the lion attitude. If you are standing in for greatness, real lions, they are hungry when the time comes for their mission. Lions are not followers. They are leaders who lead the rest of the animals. Become a lion. Be fearless. Don't talk. Walk the talk. Real lions, they demonstrate who they are. A lion does not seek respect. They command respect and authority because they know they should be respected. Be a lion. A sheep follows a leader. A lion leaves. It's about having the courage to stand and fight for your life. Having the strength to go your own direction. Even if no one believes in you, Follow your heart. Only you know what is best for you. Only you know the path to take. You have the heart of a lion inside you. Let it out. Don't fit in. Sit down and use your gift. The lion is certain. There are no maybes with the lion. This is my decision and I will attack until the outcome is mine. No one will push me around. No one will tell me where to go or what to do. If I want something, I will go after it with everything I have inside me. The sheep is not certain. 
That is why the sheep follows the herd, not knowing where they are going, not caring, just drifting through life, being fooled and prodded, being sheared from head to toe until there is nothing left to give. And that is what I see in many of you. Life, the world, and society is trading you of your very self. Head to toe, you lose your own unique footprint. You become what others want you to see, not what you want to be. Don't let anyone push you around. Be like a lion. Roar so loud with your own spirit that no one will doubt you ever again. No one will question your goals. No one will dare challenge you again because you certainly will shine through like the lion. You have that heart, the heart of the lion. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. I'm here to tell you today, if you got somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up. Try to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You're already in pain. You're already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here. You can jump up. You can do flip. You can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me. You will never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You won't be successful until you say, I don't need that money. Because I got it in here. So if you want to make six figures, you can't just be talking about you want to make six figures. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it bad and then you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You gotta be willing to work out for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want. You gotta go days without listen to me. You gotta want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. So listen to me. Emmett Smith said this at the end of the commercial. Emmett Smith said, All men are created equal, some work harder in free season. I'm going to say it again because you might have missed it. All men are created equal. Some work harder in preseason. So that means that there are some people who are going to see the professor, going to see the TA. And even when the professor says, I don't meet with you, my TA meet with you, you say, I don't want to talk to your TA. I don't pay the TA. I pay you to teach me. So you will have to find some time to meet me if I got to meet you at the mall. If I got to meet you at your house, you are going to see me. Listen to me. All men are created equal. Some were part of preseason. When I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. 4.0s, 3.0. They went to the Ivy League high schools, came to Oakwood from these great high schools. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about hearts. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You got to have hearts. That's number one. Watch number two. Number two, test number two. I wrote it down. I want to make sure you got it. It says, to be, watch this, watch this. We're talking about sacrifice now. The important thing is this. You're right in what I'm saying. Because I only have about three more minutes. Listen to me. The most important thing is this. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. That's the number two thing. You got to catch that one. To be able to, listen to me, at any moment 
Some of you, you can make sacrifices when Monday Night Football is not on. You can make a sacrifice. But when the game come on, for some reason, you just attach to it. For some of you, when your favorite show come on, you, you, can, be, you can make sacrifices on Sunday. There ain't nothing going on. But when your favorite show comes on Monday, man, some of you, you pop this into the phone ring, and then you're like, I got to answer. If I don't answer the phone, I'm going to die. I'm saying to you today that there are some of you, if you give up your cell phone, you would be successful. But your cell phone is more important to you than your success. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to hurt somebody. I'm going to hurt somebody. Some of you need to give up your cell phone because the time you spend on your cell phone could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, you're using it on the sale. And the cell phone is not bringing you nothing but a bill. And somebody has told you you couldn't live without it. I'm talking about going deep now, giving up stuff. That's what it says. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we can be. I don't do well in math. You're right. You ain't never studied. I'm not good in writing because you have never written before. But I dare you to fail in writing for a whole year to see if you can get to the end. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you saw. Always want to give up. I'm dropping. Why are you dropping? I'm so grateful that the slaves didn't drop and quit. Say, I'm just going to stop. I'm a slave. I'm just going to be a slave. I'm going to quit. Listen to me. The slaves said, we will live because one day we will be gone. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's going on, everybody? If you can hear me, drop some ones in the chat. Drop some ones in the chat. We're about to get started. If you can hear me, drop some ones in the chat. All right, I got some ones there, so I think you guys can hear me. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's enough, that's enough. All right, I got you here. All right, cool, great. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, Find my mouse here. I lost my mouse on my computer. There we go. All right, I'm so excited, guys, to go ahead and start this training with you guys. Look, this is, okay, I got some more ones coming up here. Appreciate that, appreciate that. <laughs> All right, Taylor, what's going on? So, I'm excited again uh, to be giving this training to you guys tonight. This is, um tuesday night tonight we will be going over this agenda right here we're going to have some fun we're going to learn and we're going to have some more fun and this is welcome to elevating your mind and your money with gertrude the ger training this is an overview of how to trade uh ger 30 or gertrude and we like to get into it and here we go oh feel free too before I really get into this thing that um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop your questions in, in, in the chat and I will get to them as I can, when I can. But tonight, um, I just want to go ahead and get through this training because I'm really excited to get you this information. And also, too, I have an update to some of the training for, to my, for my previous trainings I've been given uh, before, something that uh, I wanted to uh, give you guys uh, tonight on this call. So. Yeah, again, like I said, if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to, to, to drop your questions or so, and I'll get to them as they come. All right, so, all right, so anybody to, who have never traded GR30 or I always had a question about GR30 and you wanted to know a little bit more about it tonight, it's the night for you to get that information. So definitely get your your pen and pad and, and open your mind and your brain and, and, and let's just go ahead and jump right into this thing. So again, what is GER 30? Well, it's also known as DAX. It's all in, it, you can pronounce that if you can, Durster, whatever that is. Um, basically it's a German stock index and you can re read the rest of that. So basically it's, it's the 30 most um, popular companies that's traded in Europe, in Germany. And some of those companies you already know, you're familiar with. Um, some of you all may even wear the brands uh, such as Adidas, or you may have flown on some of those flights such as uh, Lufthansa and, and some other uh, major companies that you all probably heard of already and some of the products that you use over here in the US. 
so it's a conglomerate of those 30 companies. So whenever their stocks move, um, GR30 as a whole moves as well. So that which is the reason why it's so volatile and it's so uh, finicky in, in the market. So maybe that's one reason why a lot of people are afraid to trade it. But hopefully tonight, after tonight, you'll have uh, a little bit more confidence. That is my goal to give you a little more confidence in trading this wonderful NEC pair that I uh, so happen to fall in love with. So again, so other names that um, we refer to GR30 uh, as is DE30. You may see it in some of your brokers. Uh, I'm not sure which ones. I, I believe actually uh, Coinex calls it uh, DE30, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but um, different brokers have different names for GR30. Uh, DAX 30 is the same thing. Um, DE 30 EUR is the same thing as well. And I call it Gertrude. And the reason why I call it Gertrude is because for me, it was just easy to, to attach a name to a, a trade or, or actually to this, this indice um, because to me, it just reminded me of, of a person. You know, sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, sometimes it's in between, and sometimes she just act drunk. You know, you don't know really what's going on with, with this, this NDC pair, and which is the reason why it's all over the place sometimes. And, you know, sometimes, you know, people are too afraid to trade it because of that fact. You know, I know a few people that, you know, a lot of people are afraid to, to go around them because they act just like Gertrude. They're all over the place sometimes. So, you know, <laughs> that's really why I named it Gertrude. So... A lot of people like to like to compare Gertrude to uh, Ursula, and Ursula I call Ursula uh, US thirty. Um, to me, it's just easy to, to remember those names, and and uh, <laughs> and I like to say that they're, they're both are similar, but they're not identical. And if you notice, if you look on in the charts right now, you will see probably um, US thirty is moving right now, and potentially if GR30 was moving at the same time right now. It was maybe it'll probably be moving roughly around the same type of pattern or type of style, but not quite identi identical. So some people try to trade both. I highly recommend that, that you don't, especially if you are brand new to trading indice pairs, because um, trading one alone uh, can definitely give a person a heartburn or, or a little bit worse if you don't know what you're doing. So jumping in the market and trying to trade both of them, you know, could, could definitely be devastating to, you know, your emotions as well as devastating to your bank account. And with that said, um, and now here's the thing: I like to, I like participation. I like, um, you know, I don't like to just be talking the whole time. I like people to talk back to me. So I'm gonna ask some questions throughout this, this, this conversation that we're gonna have, such as this: How many people have traded uh, GR30 uh, in your real account? Uh, give me a two. All right, Cordelia. All right, Taylor. All right, Erica. All right, Norbert. Okay. So five, five, five people out of the 43 people have traded uh, GR30. Okay. All right, great. One with educators help. Okay, that's fine. That's cool, too. You still traded. That's all good. Now, you know, I'm just, just taking a, a pulse right quick before I go on. So how many people have not ever traded uh, GR30? Uh, drop of four. One person. All right, two people. Okay, so five or maybe six people traded GR30 and two people never traded GR30. So the other remaining folk are either just not participating or don't really know if you traded that or not. Okay, cool. Let's, let's keep it moving. All right, no problem, no problem. So like I said, a lot of people like to get um, these two pairs uh, mixed up and sometimes they think you can trade, if you trade one, you can trade the other. And a lot of times you can. But don't get so caught up on it. And as you see on the on the slide, it says, you know, their behavior is similar, but not always identical. And that's key. 
So who is Gertrude? I see the fours keep coming. Okay, I see him. I see him. All right, Joe, I got you. Hands wet, cooking and listening. All right, Jessica, no problem. <laughs> hey, look, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some good food over there, over the cooking. All right, so who is Gertrude? Like I said before, it's, it's, Gertrude is a personality. I, I, I believe. I believe if you don't if you don't put a personality to the tr to the pairs that you trade in, then it's hard for you to to grasp um, really how it moves. It's really hard for you to really try to um, master you know the actual trade. So, and that's what I'm doing. So this is what I believe Gertrude is. Gertrude is at times a lady who is just chilling and she's giving you what you want. And other times she's just right here, you know, somebody who's all over the place and just just back and forth, and you don't know. And next you know, you know, you, you got in a buy, and next you know she turned around to a sale because she's back and forth, and it's just ugly. It's just real crazy. And because it's an indice pair, you know, uh, I think things move quite fast and quite rapidly. I think somebody just tried to say something. So. Before you uh, start trading Gertrude, before you start trading GR30, uh, what's some of the things you, you should ask yourself? Well, here's the thing. You know, do I have a positive attitude? I believe that this is uh, one of the, the foundations to, to trading anything. You know, I look at um, trading like riding a motorcycle. Uh, I took a motorcycle course, not the, well, actually a few years back. And one of the things they said before you get on, on the motorcycle, make sure that that you have positive energy. It said, make sure that you have a clear mind, you know, because you have a lot going on. You got a lot of moving parts and you got a lot of responsibility when you're on a motorcycle and you're moving at a rapid speed, like rapid pace. I look at trading period the same way. You want to make sure that you have a positive energy. Make sure that you have a clear mind. And especially when you're trading energy pairs, because, you know, they don't move like Forex pairs. We don't know Forex pairs. Sometimes you can set it and forget it unless it's like GBP when it moves pretty quickly. But for the most part, yeah, you can set it, set it and forget it, and it's going to take its time sometime. But NEC pair, Gertrude doesn't. You know, when, it, when she moves, she really moves. She can go back and forth or up and down. And what happens to a lot of people is that their, their emotions get attached to the movement of the pair. And it, therefore, if you're in a buy and it drops down real quick to a sell, you would start screaming and hollering and like, look, is it, is I'm, I'm negative flight by how, I don't know how much. And you willing to jump out the trade prematurely before you know it, you jump out and then the trade goes in your way and it hits, it would have hit your take profit. And I'm pretty sure, I don't have to ask that question, but I'm pretty sure that has happened to a lot of people here on, on this call. So what must you have? Positive energy. What must you have? A clear mind. I need to add patience you know, to this chart as well. You know, the next thing too, did you get enough sleep? I know plenty of times that I got in a trade trying to go for a buy and I hit the sell button because I'm sleepy. <laughs> you know, I didn't hit the wrong button. And next thing you know, I'm, I had to hop out real quick. But before I hopped out, I was like way down. And then I realized, I was so like, wait a minute, I hit the wrong button. So I'm pretty sure that's happened to a few people on, on this call. So the other thing too is, am I confident in, in the decision that I'm making? And so anything that, that you're doing with trading, you got to make sure that you're confident in it. Because if not, <laughs> somebody, Taylor said, guilty lack of sleep. I know, I know. Yeah, you just heard Eric Thomas in, in the video or in the, um, the YouTube video talking about, you know, uh, uh, sometimes you got to get no sleep. Uh, that's not always a, a good thing, you know, especially in, in the trading world. You want to make sure that you're making the right decision when you're hitting that button and when you're hitting it with confidence. Because... Um, early on, when I when I first started trading, I, I was just hitting buttons, just 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 like whatever, hit a buy, hit a sell, and I wasn't doing it with confidence. And it showed. It showed not only um, with how I comprehended the market, it also showed in my bank account as well because I kept blowing accounts. And as a matter of fact, drop a two um, in the chat if you ever blown an account. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. Come on, guys. Am I the only one who blew in, blew in an account? There we go. I know I'm not the only one. Lord, I'm guilty of it. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, still recovering. 
Trust me. I, I know the feeling. I know the feeling over it. All right, cool. I got it, guys. So, yes. So, as you can see, we all have been in the same boat. We all have blown an account for one reason or another. And a lot of times it's because of what I got on the screen because we, op we operated in the opposite, um, the opposite way of what I have on the screen. You positive energy, clear mind. Did you get enough sleep? Are you confident? No, you just you see scared. <laughs> you scared to, to, to get in the market or whatever. And you may have hit the button uh, prematurely or whatever the case is. And bottom line, you're not really having fun. You know, it's it's kind of hard to to trade and not have and, and and not have fun with it. Boom. That's why I said most importantly, we got to have fun. Because if you're not having fun, and I noticed this with myself a lot, a lot of what I'm telling you is based on what I've heard from other people, but a lot of it's from my own personal experience. Is that when my, my when I'm when I'm emotionally attached to a trade, or or I'm, I'm, I'm having bad, I got bad feelings or, or bad energy around me or whatever, and I'm not having fun, then I notice that my trades are the same way because my mind isn't clear. And so whenever you trade in indices, see a lot of times, and I tell people all the time that trading is easy, but the thing about what makes people lose trades or so, or whether they're highly successful or maybe get a little bit of success or no success is, has a lot to do with how you think has a lot to do with what you're thinking in the moment of the, that you have the trade going. So a lot of times people get out prematurely because you may have overthought something or they get, they, uh, they get in prematurely because you may have seen something that really wasn't there. Who was that? Taylor said, never again, though, learn from my mistakes. That's what I'm talking about. You got to learn from your, from your mistakes. And if not, then you know, you're just wasting time. And guess what? That same lesson will keep coming back to you over and over again. And especially when it comes to indices. Why? Because indices pairs to me are so sexy because the potential of them, of, of getting um, success in them are so great. But at the same time, you know, if you don't take your time, if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not really paying attention to what's going on, that same high that you're feeling for every winning trade, you're going to actually experience the opposite effect of it. You're going to get depressed and be like, look, I quit trading. <laughs> but really, is that you didn't put, apply certain principles to your trading plan. Let's move on. So, how much do I need to trade Gertrude? Boom, five hundred to a thousand dollars to trade. Five hundred to a thousand dollars to trade. Now, this is the, this. I, I, I train people, and I tell people this is the safety way of, or the safe way of trade of trading Gertrude, um, and, and pretty much any indice pair uh, for that matter, because. What happens is a lot of people over leverage. A lot of people um, get in and want to trade indices like they trade forex pairs, and it's not the same. And it's not the same. So for to have the extra cushion, you need an extra security to withstand those pullbacks. You need to have at least five hundred to a thousand dollars to trade. Now, if for those of you who are ambitious. And for those of you who want to say, look, I'm going to go and see, do I really need $500 or whatever? You know, no, you don't really need it in order for the trade to go through, however, or in order for the order to go through for a buy or sell with Gertrude. However, once it pulls back, you're jeopardizing your whole account. And to me, it's not worth the jeopardize your whole account because trust me, take it from me. If you're not operating or trying to trade these indices, with enough money in your account, then the broker, depending on, on your leverage size, the broker would definitely take your money. And I had plenty of accounts that went from, you know, whatever I had in my account down to $44. And you can't trade any indices with $44. And that's because I got in uh, over anxious, overzealous. And I pretty much, I call that blowing an account because I can't trade my indices no more. I can't trade Gertrude no more. Now she's lonely. You know, she's she want me to come and trade her, but I can't. I got to do some Forex, you know, yeah, no no shade of Forex. I love Forex, but, you know, I, I really love indice pairs. But because if you don't have the cushion that you need in your account to withstand those pullbacks, you, you know, you you are, are actually um, jeopardizing your account to fall back to a lower amount in your bank account than you really want. Now, is any of this making any sense to you, to you guys? Give me a give me a one in the chat if, if you guys are getting this.
Gotcha. 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 Okay, cool. I'm glad you guys are getting it. Cool. All right. Somebody said, you know, how much do I need to even trade? Now, are you talking about trading in general or just trading uh, Gertrude? Now, for, for tonight's call, I'll save uh, between $500 and, and $1,000. And, and that's because, well, actually, let me ask you this, um, Carrie. Have you ever traded any NDC pairs, period? Yeah, you were 30. Awesome. Okay. Uh, all right, cool. So you have traded the, some NDC pairs. Great. So with that said, were you successful with, with trading those NDC pairs? I take your silence as a yes, maybe. Okay, all right. So, to, the the bare minimum that you need to trade Gertrude is eighty dollars. That's the bare minimum. But I do not at all, and I'm going on record. I do not at all recommend that for anybody, especially if you don't know what you're doing or if you never traded. Um, indices before or if you even if you have you brand new at trading indice pairs because there's an art to it as well as a science to trading indices and if you're not on top of it then you will definitely blow that account real fast now i'm speaking from nothing but experience <laughs> so again um I, I used to tell people that that gertrude was pretty much the, the poor man's indice <laughs> because you didn't need uh, so much money in your account to even to activate the trade. See, with um, US 30, I, I think I think the bare minimum was like 1, 180 or something like that. But again, we never ever uh, would encourage people to wait you know, to get your account that low or so or to trade with, with uh, money that that low in your account because, you know, there will be pullbacks. And the moment that there's a pullback, sometimes those pullbacks are so um, are, are, are so much to where you know it, it'll pull you all the way out that trade and sometimes you won't be able to recover and jump back in that trade so that's the bare minimum you know in all honesty i didn't know with 80 dollars before but I, I was i was in a demo account and 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 i was i was like man i i think i even traded with, with my real account one time um just to see if, if how i can how i did with it and i didn't do so well and that was a long time ago when i was just um, getting used to uh, to trading indices. So again, I don't recommend it, but teach his own. Did that uh, answer your, your question, Carrie? All right, cool. So a lot of people have questions, question before, like, you know, how do I calculate the pips with, with Gertrude? And let's see. And so the, the, the pips are pretty much straightforward. And so therefore, if you, you, you see, here, see the example here, you got a price of the entry price of 12,534. And then you have, say, your, your buy take profit, uh, 12,594. That's basically 60 pips. That's 60 pips. But here's the thing. And here's why I love NDC pairs is that 60 pips for an indice is completely different than 60 pips for Forex. 60 pips for an indice is completely different from 60 pips from Forex. Um, I wish I can give you, I, I got 80 pips the other day. I wish I could give you the, the, uh, the amount that, that, I, that I had, that I made off of it. and I traded, um, I think it was a 0.02. Uh, with, with that account and it was it was pretty pretty good you know it was definitely far more than i would have gotten from a regular forex pair now you can see the sell take profit pretty much is, is the same thing so your pip count starts from the from the decimal from the left side of the decimal so just like you count just regular numbers and so therefore your for that sell take profit that's a that's a 30 pip uh, gain or sell 
It's a 30 pip cell. So def, so and also too, here's the thing. Now this is based on I call my, my broker. My broker, one of my brokers is uh Hugo's way. I have other brokers as well. But one of my brokers is Hugo's way. And I wanted wanted them to break it down for me so I can actually explain it to you all. Um, because I have a you know, they have different types of indicators and so and I have an indicator that would have calculated that um that that buy take profit that that, that 60 pip move for like six thousand. And so that would say like 6,000 pips. And I'm getting excited off of that, thinking it's 6,000 pips, when in actuality, you have to move the decimal, um, decimal over two places. Now, that is with, here's a disclaimer, that is with Hugo's way. Now, you have to check with your brokers, because not all brokers are the same. Some brokers are, are you know, calculate pips a little bit slightly different or so, but that's the one I made sure um, to double check and have them to break it down for me uh, with my with my broker, so I definitely recommend that you get with your broker and have them to break it down for you as well. It will it could possibly be the same. I know for a fact that um, another tidbit was if anybody has Coinex on here, um, Coinex would I think their bare minimum to allow anyone to trade indices is um, is the bare minimum lot size is one, a standard lot. And so um, be, I guess that's a trade-off because if their their spreads are a whole lot lower than, than any other brokers that are out there. But I do know that I guess the trade-off is the fact that, you know, um, they're going to make you, you know, spend a lot, or, or pretty much a standard lot, you know, on the trade before you can actually take it. That's one of the drawbacks. And uh, actually somebody just said that too. Some brokers have a minimum amount uh, you need to trade indices. Exactly. 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 So <clears throat> the time, I don't have a slot, a slot on this, but the times that, that, that Gertrude opened up is actually at two o'clock, 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope you guys are taking notes. 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's the time that, that it opens up. The market opens up at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and it closes at 4 p.m. or 1600 Eastern Standard Time. And I, I noticed that uh, unless, unless my, my, my watch is off or my, my phone or my, uh, my clock on my phone is off or so by a few minutes, I noticed that um, I'll set my alarm for 2 a.m. And, and, and I'll be waiting for uh, the market to open up, thinking it's, it's opening up at 2 a.m. But on my alarm, on my, on my phone, it's actually, it'll go to like 205. And then I start seeing the market move. So I think that this is me personally, I'm very biased because I love my Android phone. I believe that my Android phone's time is, is always right, is correct, and that the broker's time are, they're slow. So um, <laughs> that's just my bias, don't judge me. But anyway, so, uh, so I noticed that when it, when my my phone hits two o five between two o three and two o five, um, that the market actually starts moving. But on record, Team Andrew, that's what I'm talking about. On record, on paper, two two a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when GR thirty Gertrude, my boo, my baby, opens up, and four p.m. or sixteen hundred is when it closes. I say that for a reason. People ask that question a lot. <laughs> now, people want to know <clears throat> when is the best time that Gertrude move? Because she don't always move, but when she moves, she really moves. And as you see here, look, she's moving real good. Look, just like Big Mama, she's moving. Now, look, as I got right here, 3 a.m. to 9:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when she moves really, really good. 3 a.m. to 9:30 a.m. is when she moves really, really good. Um, also, too, I noticed that um, like during lunchtime, <clears throat> and all my times are in Eastern Standard Time, I'm on the East Coast. So, but during lunchtime, between starting maybe between like 11 o'clock or 11:30 a.m. to maybe up to one, one, 1 p.m., it's kind of slow. You know, you may see some some dragging, or you may see some 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 lagging in the market, or a lot of consolidation, or so. But then it starts picking up again around. The 2:45 to 3:30 um, p.m. time frame, and and, and after 3:30, you know, it it, it is spike or where it go down. It's hit or miss during that time. But I noticed that between 2:45 and 3:30, 
is when it, it starts to move again. And I know that because I take my, I take a late lunch on my job and I go out to my car and I trade. Don't judge me, but hey, we all got goals. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, so with that said, I got to, I'm going to pause this, this right here. I'm going to show you on my chart what I was talking about or how it moves. And this is what it did today. One second, bear with me here. And while I'm bringing up this, this other chart, if you guys are getting some value out of this, give me a five. Give me a five in the chat if you guys are getting some value out of this. That's what I'm talking about. I got five on. <laughs> Messing with those indices. <laughs> okay, that's corny. I'm driving, but five. Oh, somebody said what now? I'm driving, but you got a five. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Verbal five. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> all right. I'm bringing my chart right now. Because I want to show you all. All right. Let me go back to share. I got your fives. I got your fives. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, can you guys see my chart? What about now? Yes. All right. Cool. All right, cool. So here's what I did. I went through and counted. Get this out of the way. And so if you can see here, basically this is this is a 2 a.m. time frame. This is when, when it opened up, you know, it, it opened up in the gap. And sometimes it sometimes it does that. Uh, well, actually, quite often it does that. There's a gap here, a gap here. It opened up in the gap. And just like any other pair and uh and dr kathy says it all the time is that you know if for anything that opens up in the gap it always has to fill that gap you never know when it's hard to tell when but it always has to fill the gap though and so right here you can definitely tell right here that it started filling that gap now and here's what i was telling you back to, to my chart when i said that between 3 a.m and 9 30 a.m it starts moving well they started a little slightly early. And this is where, the, you know, what it say that the early bird gets the worm or whatever that, that is. So right here, it started. This is, I got on the 30 minute time frame. This is two o'clock, 2.30, three o'clock, 3.30, um, four o'clock, 4.30, five o'clock, 5.30, six o'clock, 6.30, seven o'clock, 7.30, eight o'clock, 8.30, nine o'clock, 9.30. You guys see that. And so the major moves are happening early in the morning. Um, there was something with, you know, back in the day, people used to tell me that, you know, um, the wealthiest people get up early in the morning because money moves when everybody else is asleep. And this is right here proof that it does, you know. And as a matter of fact, where's my little tool at? Right here. Let's do some measurements. As a matter of fact, it does. Look at all these pips. Up, oh, got a spike right here, spike to the low. That spike, and if you look, that's crazy. That's 21,947. Now, we just said that it's not really 21,947 pips, but still, 219 pips is still a great day. Would you agree? Yes or yes? I would say that's a great day any day. That's early in the morning. Sometimes, actually, 219 pips, that's all a person needs in, in, in one day. You can roll over, go back to sleep. You can go back to sleep at or whatever time this is. If that's, not, if that's 9 o'clock or 9.30, back up. That's probably about 8 o'clock or so, something like that. Yeah, you go back to bed. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, um, 219 pips, you put a nice lot size on it, or even a, 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 at a 0 .01 lot size in it, that's still a decent day for anybody. So that this is what I was saying, that money moves or Gertrude moves between 3 a.m. 
at 9 30 and in this case you know she woke up and started moving an hour earlier you know so it always behooves everybody you know to get up and at least at least watch it at least get up and, and, and if you're afraid to, to jump in the market you know um, load your demo account up you know build your confidence you know through your demo account that's what i used to do that's what i did actually because uh, i lost a lot of confidence when i started out with trying to trade crypto and boy that sucked all the confidence out of me man uh it humbled me real quick real fast but then i started trading a demo and i fell in love with the indices and i started note and i noticed that you know during early, in early mornings when she opens up when gertrude opens up that's when all the money's made between this period as well as you know during the new york session and throughout the day see y'all y'all already see that i'm on a 30 minute time frame yeah and she already starting to make her, her move going back down again but let's get back to the charts So are you all seeing exactly what I'm saying? About the movement of Gertrude. And here's and here it's like when, when Dr. Kathy is on IML TV or, or I am or go live or whatever it's called today. Uh, whenever she's on online training us or or give giving us signals or and just going to the market and she called Gertrude or GR30 or so, it's in that that sweet spot, it's in that time frame. If you ever notice that. You know, every single day when it's moving, she said, oh, yes, yeah, let's look at it. Or somebody else in the group may say, hey, have you looked at Gertrude? Or have you looked at GR30? You know, and it's always be between that those time, those same, those time frames. You know, between, uh, typically, typically when she gets on, it is 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, my time. So around 3.30 is when I start seeing people in the chat start putting it out there. And so this is something I want you guys to be cognizant of all how many people have I've on this? Just 50, 50 people on here with me. This is why I want every, all 50 people on here to be cognizant of, you know, um, tomorrow um, when, when, when uh, we're on online and uh, listening to Dr. Kathy talk or train or so. Also be, be looking at the, at the time frame because I, I guarantee you, you know, while she's giving up those signals out, while she's talking to us, that Gertrude is also moving. So be cognizant of the times, you know, the 3 a.m., to 9.30 a.m. time frame, and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. She's going to be moving tomorrow. Just be ready for it. Who's that? iPhone said, yes, yet I still need some help building my confidence. Well, you know what, um, Mr. Mr. iPhone, I don't know if you're, you know, uh, iPhone. Well, here, here's the thing. <clears throat> Your demo account is so, okay, Mark. oh, Mark, what's going on, Mark? Yeah, your demo account, man, it is so, I'm telling you, it, it, it does something to, to your psyche, you know, um, by getting in your demo account. Now, the greatest lessons that I've learned, the hardest lessons I've learned was with my real account, you know, but I really don't put it on anybody. Um, but yet, some of the, the, the greatest lessons, though, that I learned was through my demo account, you know, and actually taking notes and seeing what's going on. And by doing that, you know, it, to me, it's the equivalent of, uh, trying to learn how to swim you know you don't never just jump out in six feet water you know uh or 20 feet water if you never swim at all in your life you may jump out in three feet water just test it out just a little bit that's what your demo is for and the more you do that the more your confidence is built you know um i tell people all, all the time that you know be consistent with, with with trading indices you know and be consistent in your demo account because consistency with anything builds your confidence and your confidence, you know, will start building your consistency because you're going to want to do it again and again and again. And then if something goes south, you're going to know, you're going to want to know why did it go south. So, so Martin, you saying you still need some help? Hey, man, you know, and you know what? This is what the team is for too. You know, um, if you need any help with anything, have any questions, reach out to me, uh, Shante, or or Dr. Kathy, anybody, man. If you need some help or you know, just building your confidence, and a lot of times too. It's all internal too. Somebody said, so so I just watch how it moves and or is um there and educated that is on go live that trades indices. Um yeah, Dr. Kathy. <laughs> you know, uh US 30 is an indice, GR 30, Gertrude is an indice, you know. So yeah, and, and she 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 calls she calls those trades all the time. You know, whenever the web analyzer um uh with the ECC 11 strategy calls for it, then definitely she's uh, telling people to get in. Sometimes she she calls it out before 
it even um, gives that trigger. So yeah, so yeah, we have one of the number one educators, you know, to uh, to to do it for uh, IML, you know, to trade his indices to show us. So yep, yeah, that's right, blue light special. That's what I'm talking about. So we move on here. Share. We should be back. There you go. Oh, that's it. She moving again. She moving. So now, like I said, 5 a.m. <clears throat> 5 a.m. is normally the, the pullback was when the pullbacks happen. And and we, we all heard um Dr. Kathy say all the time, you know, 5 a.m. is a time that you know the banks are putting your you know people's monies back in their accounts. So therefore there's a lot of pullback happening in the market or across the board. You know, that's something that we really can't can't get around, really can't do anything about because the banks are, are pretty much moving, moving your money. So here's where using proper risk management, and here's where using proper risk management co comes in handy. You know, and like I said, use 0 .1, uh, lot size for every $1,000 in your account. Now, if you're using Coinex, if you're using Coinex, unfortunately, they want one standard. So I, you know, Personally, this is me, Patrick. You know, I use Hugo's Way. Now you can use you know, whatever you use, but um, I use Hugo's Way because it allows me the flexibility to not have to trade a standard lot size. Now, a standard is a lot for an NDC pair. Trust me. You know, um, <laughs> it's a whole lot. Uh, but yeah, because the one little movement, you know, with that could, you know, either you know take take you to, to take you to heaven. If you got the right trade, you know, the right, um, uh, if you hit the right direction, or it can really take your account way down. So um, I trade with Hugo's way. Anyway, so 0 0.01 lot size for every $1,000 in your account. This is a very safe, um, a safe lot size to have in your account, you know, to make sure that you, like I said before, you have enough room, enough cushion for that pullback. Because during 5 a.m., or it's not necessarily always 5 a.m., but that's a good that's a good time frame to, to keep in mind. Um, but during that time frame or the pullback hour, you know, you never know how far it's going to pull back. So because of that, having the extra cushion in there, that's a lot of cushion, but it's needed and it's and it's good, you know, because a lot of people like to screen red light, you know, even with with, uh, with forex pairs. And so just imagine a person screaming red light, I'm ready to jump out the car or it starts complaining about, you know, my trade is red or whatever for a Forex pair. What you think that, you know, a person will be doing with an indice, you know, when, when it's moving so fast to where you don't see the, 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 the 10 pips, you know, you don't see that. You may see, you may see hundred pips, right? So, so, so having a $1,000 in your account gives you the extra leverage that you need, you know, when you're trading, with a 0 0.01 lot size. Trust me, take it from me. I've been there. And if not, you will find yourself just like this. See, this, this is Gertie or Gertrude, and this is you, or this was me. And this is how it looked. She was beating the mess out of me because I was over leveraged, <laughs> you know, and the market will always win. And if you always you know, try to go against the market, don't do that. It will always win. So, um, what, what can we expect from, from Gertrude? Well, first of all, before I get to that, any questions so far? I got one question. Mark asked a question. I think he got that question. Cool. Team watch and learn. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Black special. Yep. Okay. Hey, man. Thanks for all this, right? What are you learning? What are you learning now? I'm learning a lot now. Um, Frank? <laughs> I'm learning a lot now. I just, just got into uh, Fibonacci. Is anybody on here? Um, use like uh, use the fibs at all. Anybody use fibs? No. Yes, yes. Do you trade good shoe like you trade forex pairs? I said that earlier. No, I don't. So, oh, oh, well, it, it depends. It depends what you mean by that. Um, when I say learn to use them sometimes. Pull back. Hey, I'll definitely say uh, look up um, Fibonacci and, and using that um, 
because I, I, I just opened it up. Yeah, I was introduced to it. Dr. Kathy um, mentioned it a long time ago, but I had a lot. I had a lot of indicators and it was just way too much overload for me. And so I just wanted to do step by step and, and, and put this whole puzzle piece together little by little. And now I'm to the point to where I was just curious about the Fibonacci and the retracement tool. And so I just used it last night when I was doing some markups and I said, I wonder how this is going to go. And, um, and, and I said, Oh my God. So when I woke up this morning, and I saw where it came back and it started and how it was moving on the chart. You know, everything was almost perfect, you know, to, it was, it was just crazy. Uh, I don't want to get too much into the Fibonacci stuff tonight um, because, you know, I'm, I'm still learning it. And, and before I, I, I show it and introduce it to anybody, I want to make sure that, that, you know, I got it down pat because I don't want to tell anybody uh, wrong or steer them in the wrong direction or so, but uh, definitely something that uh, I am uh, looking more into, uh, learning more about. And so far, you know, it's, it's paid out pretty good today. And I was like, man, I was, I was impressed and amazed um, of, of a lot of the, um, a lot of the, 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 um, the, the similarities that it had with some of my other indicators that, that I use or so. But anyway, so as I learn it more or so, then I may introduce it uh, in, in another uh, GR training that I may do. In, in a couple of weeks or so, but anyway, for, but for tonight, boom. Let's. Um, what can we expect from Gertrude for the week? So, before I get to the charts, has anybody on here been looking at Gertrude at all? Anybody? Yes. Okay. Okay, I have Carrie. Yes. Yes. Okay. Dennis, what's up, Dennis? Okay. Cool. Great. All right. Cool. So, before I get to the charts, you know, I, I want to see just, just. Just where you guys are. So you guys have been looking at Gertrude. What is the current trend right now? I don't know if you were paying attention, I kind of sort of showed you early on the, on the chart. Let me show you the times. What is the current trend right now? All right, Joe, down. Cool. All right. Bet. Okay, so let's go on over to the charts and take a look at some of these charts and see what, what, what's going on with them. And this is going to wrap it up for tonight. Let's see here. Stop shit here. Bearish. Yep. Let's do a share. All right. A couple of things here. Can you guys see my chart? Yes. Okay. Awesome. All right. So this is the old one we just saw. And for anybody who doesn't know, I typically typically start on the four hour and Ultimate, well, it depends. Like on, on Sundays, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. On Sundays, I will start probably like on the on the daily, and then I go down to uh, the four hour. Um, at times when I'm feeling ambitious, I want to know exactly, you know, what what the market is doing or where I think it may be going. I may start way out on the monthly, you know, to, to get a larger view, and then I I just drill down. But for um, for tonight, we're going to start with the four hour. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, the four hour, uh, time frame shows me that it, it's in a downward, a downward trend or a bearish market. But can you guys see, well, not the words, but can you guys see the head and shoulders pattern? Uh, if you can, um, type a, a eight in, in the chat. Okay, if you can't see the head and shoulders pattern, type a seven in the chat. Okay. One brave soul says seven. Okay, got it. I love it. All right, I'm going to do something else. All right, so I'm going to go here. Can, can you see this? What's the head and shoulders pattern? Okay. All right, no problem. 
All right, so teach you guys something right now, right quick. So basically a head and shoulders is we have uh, three peaks. You got a peak here, a peak here, and peak here, right? Typically the, um, the middle peak is a little higher or so, but based on the patterns, I got my three peaks. And so this is what we call the head and shoulders, a shoulder, a head, a shoulder. And so in this case, like, you know, for on, on a regular person's body, if you look in the mirror, you know, you got your, your shoulder, you got your head. Typically, your head is much higher than your shoulders. Well, this person right here, you know, they got their, their shoulders, you know, up and their head slumps down. I don't know. You know, <laughs> whatever visual you can put in your mind. Uh, so um, that makes sense to you. But anyway, but a head and shoulders is an indication of a reversal. So you have an uptrend and then you have your one peak down come down or retest, back up, then a retest, back up again before it drops. So hope you guys can see that. Because now the market is so amazing because guess what? It repeats itself. Can you guys see the head and shoulders right here? Right here. Yes, awesome, awesome. Who threw me that seven earlier though? Okay, okay, there we go. You can see that head and shoulders, right. So, same thing, okay? So you see the head and shoulders here, and a lot of times, if you can't sit with the candles, just go to the line chart. The line chart will show you. You know, you got a little, sh a little shoulder here, big old head, not gonna really count this, but right here, look. Boom, boom, boom. Got your three peaks, three big peaks. You know, this guy's shoulder right here is kind of lopsided. But anyway, it still serves a purpose and it still throws a pattern. And guess what? I said earlier that a head and shoulders is an indication of a reversal. And so this reversal, it was going up. We'll you see uptrend, re uptrend, retest, up again, retest, back up. And guess what? Shoulder, head, shoulder. And guess what? It drops. All the way down. That's a crazy drop. And again, y'all, I'm on a four-hour chart time frame, which you know, which means a lot of pips. And I, I'm just curious like this. I always love doing this. I love measuring things, um, like when it comes to the candles or so. And look at this. What is that? I can't see that. But that's a lot of pips. I can't see it. it's really small on my screen, but that's a lot of pips. Just take it from me. <laughs> so it got in inverse head and shoulders uh, two before it went bullish. Right. Right, and so that's a lot of pips going here. But guess what? I get excited when I see this because the market repeats itself. And guess what we, we, we are right now? Right back at the same thing. So when it comes to these indices, indices pairs, it's so powerful. Because again, it's not like your regular Forex. Um, now there's nothing against Forex and people are killing it with Forex. But I just love indice pairs because of this. And guess what? We're in another bull, um, bear market. And so potentially, potentially, it could very well go down to, let's just say here, right? Let's just say right here. Because we already know it's going down. We, we know that part already. And see, I like to do, this is how I trade. I like to do this because I like to see, you know, where I could potentially be, be getting in or how far it may go. And so when I get, pull out this tool, I start measuring it because the market repeats itself. So I said, oh, okay, that's good. That's, uh, I see four, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's at least 467 pips. 467 pips at a 0 0.01 lot size. I don't know the math, but anyway, that's a lot of money. You know, it's a lot of pips. <laughs> so, so my thing is this, pay attention to, to basically your, your, bearish, um, your, your bearish entries. So I look at the four, I start with the four hour chart. Then I go down to the one hour chart right here. Oh, and uh, actually let me go back. I forgot to show you something. 
Now I'm showing you the, the stuff about the, the head and shoulders on this chart here with NEC pairs. I'm showing you how powerful it is. Now, but here's the thing: the head and shoulders is an overall pattern that you can look and find on any on any um, forex pair or anything in the market. You know, and it's it's always the same. It's a uh, actually it's a uh, indication for a reversal going bearish. But again, I'm biased. This is the Gertrude training, and so therefore. You know, I think this is a powerful, a powerful uh, uh, bear move right here. And so we're talking about Gertrude. And so, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, there's a lot of money, a lot of pips uh, to be made in this market here. So when you guys are on IML TV or IMTV or Go Live, what are we calling today? And Dr. Kathy says, hey, there's a sell in for Gertrude or GR30, whatever you want to call it. Definitely. Be taking it if you can. And if you can't take it in your real account, get in your demo account because I really want you to see how it moves. And for those of you who, who are building up your confidence, I really want you to really work on building up your confidence because I believe in all of my heart of hearts that so many people can win and will win by trading NDC pairs. But you will never trade NDC pairs if you never get in and start trading. Just like you would never be able to swim if you never get in the water. So we can't be afraid to do that. I don't know who I was talking to earlier, but, you know, that's for somebody. Because here's the thing. I don't want you guys, you know, um, too timid to, to trade indices. Indices are your friend. Gertrude is your friend. Trust me. You know, she knows that like that all the time, but she's your friend. She want to give you pips. And so you just have to be willing to receive. <laughs> so, again, we're on a four-hour time, time chart. Down to the hour. And, uh, oh, and back to four, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The thing I want to show you was, this is what they call a neckline. This is what they call a neckline. Basically, it's where you start here, but it's, it's where it comes down at. It came down right here. So you just draw your line. Typically, it would, this would come down too, but this didn't. But you draw your line, this connects, this connects, and this connects. And... This is important because a lot of times your pullbacks come back to your neckline. A lot of times your pullbacks come back to your neckline. Okay. So <clears throat> this is something very important. So when you see those pullbacks and people, you know, screaming, you know, Dr. Kathy, and you send it red, I want to jump out the car or whatever. Or so just know if this is the case or if this is the setup, you see a head and shoulder and it's pulling back on you. This is what it's doing. So find your neckline. You see how far you're going. And then you see what happened? It dropped back down. So this is on the four hour, which means a lot of pips. It may move a little slower, but we're going to go down to the hour. Guess what? That's that same neckline right here. And look at this drop. Drop here, drop here. And you see that? It threw us a spike right here. And then it pulled back. Now, can you play the pullbacks? You sure can. You sure can. But we know that it's risky, but you can. I would never tell you not to, but it's risky. But here's the thing. We know the overall trend is, is, is going down. So you can wait on the pullbacks and then wait for that, for that candle to, to go down and just ride all the way down. Or wait for Dr. Kathy to, to give you a signal if we're on, um, on IML TV. But again, I want you guys confident in, in trading indice pairs. And now we're going to go down to the 15 minute. And look at that. So potentially, I, sh I, sh I showed you my, my trend line here. So here is where it could possibly go. Not in one day, obviously, but look at that. And that's a lot of pips. That's a lot of pips. So anytime you see it going down, definitely just look at it, jump in, you know, because and, and, and just in your demo account, jump in and, and just see how, how it flows because we know the trend is down. So anytime you got to sell, get in it, get in it and, and watch it go down and watch how, how many, how many pips you get from it. And then also too, another question that people ask is uh, what time frame do you get in on? Well, I get in on the 15, 
And then sometimes if you really want a, a sniper move or a sniper entry, you can get it on, on a five minute because the five minute moves faster, but it also gives you a better indication as to when to get in the market. And with that said, does anybody have any, any questions? Is that one five eight nine two eighty R? Yes, that's the average daily range. Exactly. Exactly. Now, you guys, did you guys get anything out of this training tonight? Give me a one in the chat or some fire in the chat to let me know on where your energy is tonight, so I can know if I need to to change up something. Let me know where you are. Or what's going on with you? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very informative, awesome. Good, 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 good. Awesome, okay, cool. Now, also too, a little bit of feedback from you guys. Is this something that, that you guys wanna see more of? All right, and the yeses have it. All right, cool. I love indices too. Indices are my best friend. I'm telling you, you know, Gertrude and Ursa, but I'm so biased. I love Ursa. So, I mean, oh, Gertrude so much. <laughs> I'm telling you. But anyway, with that said, y'all, um, I'm wrapping up tonight. And uh, if there are no more questions or so, or if you have any questions or so, uh, feel free to uh, inbox me or 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 run, run it by on Shante. She can get in, get in contact with me or so if you're not in the, in the team chat or so. And, uh, and with that said, uh, thank you guys for your time. I'm, I'm glad you found some value in it. And uh, I can't wait to do another training with you all in another two weeks. Not next week, but in the week after next, I'll be back with you. So with that said, talk to you later. Have a good one. Oh, I ain't finished yet. And look, if y'all found some value in it, show, show me some love in, in the group chat too. <laughs> I do be watching it all the time. So show me some love in there too. I love you guys. All right, now I'm going for real. <laughs>